Every day, municipal workers go above and beyond the call of duty to support us. Joining me are two local heroes, officers Michael Miklas and Jeff Lemadu from the Buckeye Police Department, along with Matt Lore from League of Arizona Cities and Towns. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you, you for having us. So, Officer Miklas, if I may start with you, there was a small incident that happened with a stolen bicycle recently. Can you share that story with everyone? Sure. Um, I'm assigned to the patrol division with the city of Buckeye. I responded to a theft of a bicycle. And uh, initially, it was called in by a third party. Once I got there, the suspect was already gone. Um, wasn't able to get a hold of the uh, victim at the time. Uh, I had to do some follow-up. Later on, I discovered that the uh, this victim of the bicycle was a student at Buckeye uh, Elementary School. And um, I then contacted my uh, fellow officer, Lamadou, over here um, to um, do some follow-up with that. And, and what did you do then in that situation, Officer Lamadou? Well, I'm, I'm a school resource officer, um, and the gentleman that had his bike stolen, he also goes to my school. And I'm in a good position where I'm also the community liaison uh, officer as well, so I do a lot of the uh, community events, uh, the block watch. So during the holiday season, we have a lot of um, bicycles and other donations that are sent to the PD that uh, we're fortunate enough to give away uh, during the holiday season. And I had let Officer Miklas know that I would see if we had anything uh, available, and we did. We were able to locate a bike. Oh, that's so neat. So this kid who is obviously probably just devastated by losing his bike, you two were able to work together to get him a new bike. Look at him. This is him right here, right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, he's like, he's like, this is my new bike. Don't take it. <laughs> now, Matt, if I may, what would you say um, is just so essential, like these officers right here, to, to the way that the cities and towns just operate? Well, cities and towns provide the basic essential services that residents count on each day. Clean water, safe streets, public safety, um, parks, trash and recycling. But behind those services are men and women who go above and beyond the call of duty each and every day. And these officers are uh, perfect examples of that. Really, uh, not only providing these services seamlessly, but doing it in a really good way. And that's what makes it, Arizona cities and towns such a great place to live and work. And you don't actually hear about stuff like this very often, so that, it's really good to hear that story and know that, I mean, we know that you guys are out there serving and protecting us every day, but that you actually take it above and beyond, like you said, just to help someone out who is going through a hard time. And that's really neat. So if someone is, you know, out there watching and they want to know how they can find out more about these municipal heroes right here, what should they do, Matt? Um, well, to find out more about the municipal heroes or what's happening in their city or town, they can go to um, our website, which is www.azcitieswork.com, and there they can learn about all the municipal uh, events that are going on in the state, as well as municipal heroes like these two officers. And when they're at the website, we strongly encourage them to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And then if they have a story that they can share about a municipal service worker who's gone above and beyond to serve them, please let us know working together, together to make our cities better. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Such cool, cool stories and such a cool thing to be a part of. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, like Matt said, if you want more information about the local municipal heroes in your Arizona city or town, just visit the website azcitieswork.com.